Okay guys, so I would like to show you how to repair IMEI on a Galaxy S3. I would like to mention what to change your IMEI to something different, what is not yours, it's illegal, okay? So I will show you just like in case you lost your IMEI, like me, I was doing the unlocking process and I lost my IMEI because it was unlocking process was failed so don't change IMEI just repair okay I'm not talking about changing IMEI IMEI number okay so also I'm not responsible for any damage okay what you can cause for your device okay just a moment okay so let's start this one is a Galaxy S3 model T999 and it's running version Android version 4.3. I unlocking process failed, I was using that box NS Pro. It really works properly with Android version 4.1 and version 4.4 on Galaxy S3. But on version 4.3 4.3 it's faulty. Now I will show you what I don't have any IMEI number. As you can see it's zero. Okay. And if we go to the properties, it's also show me IMEI number here, it's unknown. Okay. Here you can see Android version for version uh, 4.3 model number T999V and we have baseband, what is good. So I would like to mention also what I tried to restore EFS, it didn't help me and uh, I tried to use the built-in feature of NS Pro Box software to repair IMEI, it doesn't work also. So I found how to do it other way and to start we need to use to switch the phone to our USB mod. It's a star pound 0808 pound. So I need to use that mo mod of USB port RN RNDs DM modem. It's already chosen. So once you choose this you press OK. Phone the phone should be connected by micro USB cable to your laptop. Once you connect it, you will see that sign here and here. So you need to wait until all drivers will be installed. Okay, here you can see what it's mentioned here. Samsung Mobile USB serial port COM 122. This is what I need. So, I will launch QPST configuration, this one, I can show you the current version is QPST 2.7 build 379, so I will put in the description download, uh, link to download that software. You will have some tabs here on the top, I will choose ports, I press add new port here, as you can see port COM122 USB KSU Diagnostic and I press OK. If everything is you set up properly, you will have here phone with kind of number and it's state in them. I don't need any more that software I will minimize. Next step to use program application is called NV Items Reader Writer. My version is version 1. I didn't find any bigger version than this, so I choose port and I should choose my port 1 to 2. If you forgot your port, you can go to My Computer, Properties, Device Manager and we can choose here Ports section and you can find your Samsung Mobile port, ok? This is it. So I'm choosing the same COM port. I don't touch anything USB, it will be by default. All zeros here, all 
box is here to check, I press connect button. Ok, I got a problem here. It says unable to open port COM122. Ok, let's find out why I have this problem. I will reconnect. Plug the cable again. Also, I will try to change the USB mod to let's say MTP, just MTP on the top. I will press OK. As you can see, once you did this, here from ports, Samsung phone will disappear. So, I will change it one more time to the desired mod. Sorry. Wrong button. Star pound zero eight zero eight. Aaron this DM modem. Press K. I hope it this time it will work. I don't know. So here I will try to remove it. Hit new port. One more time. One two two. Okay. Shows as before. State enable phone. Blah blah blah. I will press on the cross to close that window. I will relaunch that application also. So I choose my port. 1 to 2. I press connect button here. Okay, now we can see connected to COM 1 to 2 port successfully, right? So next what I do, I press on read button. Okay, here read on the top. Here you can see in the gray it says log message SPC is correct phone unlocked. Doesn't matter for now. So next I will use just the IMEI number I typed here for testing purposes just to show you what this method works. I repeat Change your IMEI number, it's illegal, so I just showing this and for testing purposes so for guys who really lost their in IMEI numbers. This application is HDS3 IMEI in the item generator. Here on the top. And uh, I put that fake IMEI number and I press generate. I want to remember you what uh, I'm using fake because I don't want to expose my current IMEI number because it's the kind of security issue. So I press save. I will save it like, let's say, new.txt. Save. Now I come back to that application. I, re I need to put here the address where this number will be written. Okay, so the desired address is 550 as it says here in that application. You see? In fact, it's the address. So, I press on write and I should choose the file. I choose new.txt and you can see one in the item has been written to the phone successfully. I press OK. I press on that cross to close the application. And it will tell me like the phone should be re rebooted or reset. So I press yes. Some phones will reboot by itself. This one doesn't. So I will shut it off. Okay, turn on again. Come on. It's starting up.
Okay, let's check our IMEI number. This is it. For some reason it shows me 8 at the end, I don't know why, but as you can see this method works properly, but we need to find out why it doesn't show me. Because I believe that I put, because it's the fake number and uh, Normally, the, the last one, I believe, is kind of check, uh, it's a test uh, digit, uh, what kind of sum of everything what in the number. And this is it. Okay. So, use guys this with caution because, as you said, it's illegal in any country to change your IMEI number. I'm showing you just, like me, I lost it, I need to repair and put back my legal IME number to, to the phone back to make it workable condition okay thank you for watching and please please pre press on like button if you like my video